everybody and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. My name is Scriptor and this is day 51 and as you can already see there's a wiring mess going on here and I've done some stuff. So I took day 50 off as I said I would. Uh, I did a lot of damage repairs like down there. All the stuff. Put the doors back in that were missing. Uh, replaced the dart traps. I even set up... Let's go down there. Let's have a look. Uh, even set up the dart traps we were talking about. Uh, the ones covering the doors. You can already see them right here. There you go. Uh, there's our tripwire post, and that thing is going. I hope this is off. Yeah, it's off. <laughs> uh, this is going all the way across to the door. Same on this side, as you can see. So, anybody who uh, knocks on this door should now get shot from behind. That should work. Uh, the doors will still take a bit of damage, but nothing should be able to make it through the second door, at least not at this stage of Horde Nights. And I seem I painted that block wrong. Well, that happens once in a while. Also, in case they actually make it through there, as you can see, the four corners now have a shotgun auto turret, which is filled up to the brim. I should probably untick that, although there are no strangers. It's a single player anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. But should they bash through there, there is... A motion sensor up here which has all uh, of the basement in view well at least this part right that part and that part and that is attached to that guy mm -hmm. why did I do that I mean these have their own motion sensors right but this one only draws 5 watts and this is what 15 25 something like that so this is drawing 5 watts whenever power is flowing same as these are drawing what 1 watt when power is flowing or is it 5 I don't know uh, but only when the tripwire is tripped, then these star traps and that fence post and uh, the ones on the other side will draw power and activate. Same here. Only when something comes through the broken door will this actually pass power through to the shotgun turret and then the shotgun turret will draw power. So that helps us minimize the power consumption and thus uh, the fuel consumption. Yep, that's how that works. Looking quite good. Mm -hmm. So it's fine. I can't see the letters anymore because I painted over them. Stupid me. <laughs> that happens when you set your paintbrush to paint everything I can see. Well, it's good. It's good. Um, I also went to Jen briefly, bought another battery bank. We already had one. There's nothing in there. Something in there? Yeah, those two level 6 batteries we had. We want more of those. A lot more of those. Currently, we have an output of maximum 100 watts. So when this is full, we have 300 watts. You do the math. It's fine, I also found this. Listen to it. Yup, series complete. Which means we can now go and make 9mm in boxes. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. It costs less resources, look at that. That's 160. Well, let's look at the bullet tips, it's easier. So for AP ammo, for a box of 100 shots, we need 80. And for regular AP ammo, we need 1. Per bullet. So if we make 100 bullets, we need 100. This only costs 80. So we're saving 20% of the resources here just by making them in boxes. And then you open those boxes and you get your regular 100 shots. Really, really good. So that's one thing I've done. The other thing I've done is I put in some stairs here. I extended this down as I said I would. This right here is going to be our tunnel one day when I finish punching through there. Uh, that leads under... <laughs> under the grassland up there, so the um, the roof will be uh, that block and that block there is level with the floor So we have one block of grass above our roof here And that leads under the road or will lead under the road next to the trader up there and then come out And have some some lovely doors that I haven't finished thinking of yet What is this? We have a big window over here. We actually have the same window over there which I covered up with uh, plates right now because there, there's nothing here. There's no tunnel, no nothing. I don't know what to do with this space yet. Don't need another tunnel. Unless I use that tunnel and branch it out over here and have this be a garage space, then I can use, you know, a second tunnel and make this a, a whole big thing. I don't know yet. We'll see. But there are some plates here, as you can see, just covering that up. So what is uh, the meaning of these, these windows? Well, I thought of something. This beam is okay for us to get through, right, on, a, on your any regular given day, but it's still a bit of a hassle. I would like to cover this up. So what I made... Oh, that one is closed now. <laughs> I would... 
I would like to use uh, these, the steel garage doors, which are powered. Uh, let's let's use these for now. And, um, don't do that. And cover this all up. How does that work? Well, you put them down there. That is why we have that space. And when you open them, they roll up and they cover up this area. So we have a platform, a real floor, if you will, and we can't fall down by accident. When it's hot night, um, we just unpower the electric ones and they will close. And then this pit is open. And that is exactly the problem. That, that is why I've made these, the unpowered ones for now, because I don't really have the right electric setup for that. Because technically, if you want these to roll up, to be open, which closes the floor, you need them powered. But come Horde Night, we will power this switch. I can't attach those to that switch, because then they will be powered, they will be up, but I need them unpowered, so they will be down when Horde Night comes. So I could put them on that switch. Because this turret we technically want to unpower when Horde Knight comes, so that that guy doesn't shoot Demolishers, but we don't have Demolishers yet. And I'm still considering putting uh, that spotlight away and putting another turret up there, just, you know, just because. Just because I can. Um, but then we need to make sure that this actually works the way we want, and that we never need to use these turrets up here for Horde Knight. And then I can attach the steel garage doors at that one. So for now, I hear them. But now we're just going to use these ones, which you have to power manually. Sucks to be you. Alright, so how do these work? Well, you put them down, and then you see where, where the corner, the edge of that, um, of that garage door is, and then you turn around. Now you see this is now slightly nearer to me, right? Covers up more of that block. This rotation means it opens up that way, up there. And this rotation means it opens up this way, which is what we want. So one there, and the other one, right there. We do the same on this side. Turn them around, do this. And now I just hope that that works. <laughs> it's untested. There you go. And now we should be able to just E, open them. Ah, look at this. I can walk around here. I can even slide down here. I don't even slide down here. Look at that. I'm on the side, not in the middle. I'm sliding not at all. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is working. Lovely. So now we can actually walk across here without any problems. Come Horde Night, we just do it. Goes rather fast. And that's it. Lovely. So at one point I will exchange these uh, with the steel ones, which have a crap ton of hit points. And that also means when Horde Knight comes and these will be down, they will cover up this area so nothing can jump in here by accident. And that is why I've used these, these, these bottom wedge blocks here. So if anything happens and if a creature decides to jump over here, it will slide down that door, will land on the wedge part and slide down. This right here is what we're looking for. Tier 6 solar cells. A lot of them. So right now, it's 41,600. Right, Let's take out the magnum. Stay safe out there. Shut up. And now... It's 38,400. That is better. That's still not enough, though. We should be Sorry, able to make... I've never heard of a stim pack. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we should be able to make Grand Pass Awesome Sauce, which needs 50 casino tokens, which we do have. A little bit of honey, a little bit of mushrooms, and a little bit of gas. And this should put it down by a lot. I think it's 20%. So we're getting a 25% discount in total holding the Magnum using that Elixir. The thing is that that Elixir only has like a 4 minute um, validity. <laughs> so we can do it right here and trade with Jen. And the moment we reach the next trader it will probably have expired. And we need another one, so we're going to make a bunch of those. For right now, we're just going to go and grab books. All the books we can get. So I'm going to put that stuff in here. First POI, church. Did that floor respawn? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, 
other door. So this one is a waste of time. I may have been here in between already. Ah, pity, pity, pity. All right, well. I'll take the XP, though. Haha! -ha. Perfect. Okay, let's sneak through here, real quick. Oh. Do that. Oh well. Most of the books, obviously, we already know, right? Don't you dare. Okay. Um, but we can still sell them. And we might run across the occasional one that we haven't read yet. That's why we're doing this. Doesn't look too good right now. Check the money though. Aha! One! Does the cover respawn? <laughs> what did I just not open this the last time? Meh! Shotgun shells are shotgun shells. Might as well. One over here. Yep, there was. Nothing here, nobody over there, that's interesting. Oh, there was the cop lying there, right. Killed that already. Eh. Eh. Aha! Alright, let's see. A lot of crap that we don't need. Not gonna collect any other crap. Yes, I'm gonna take the paper. Always need more paper. Right, anything? Yeah, that one. That one we use. And that's that. Hmm. Alright, well, they do sell. Some of these you might have to just ditch or, you know, look at them again for the extra XP, even though it's not much, but 135, well, some of these sell for 200 and something, or even more, I believe. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we get once that stack, you never know. Okay. This city is officially done. How about next? Also, there's batteries here. Need to keep that in mind. Not crash the gyro while I'm at it. There you are. Lovely. And you too, yes. There. Double tap. Money. Taking it. Hmm. Might have discovered this one late. Collateral damage. Yep, this one is definitely empty, so we're not gonna worry about it. Urgh. Please step away from the gyro. Ma'am, step away from the gyro! Step away for good. Okay. Well, this city is done. <laughs> yeah, we did the big tour around here a little bit later. Uh, then again, there is not much here except for that... that academy-style thing over there. Not gonna worry too much about it. This one should be pretty empty. This one should be... there's just the... This one isn't even, even named. It's cold. No. The Academy there. Which we've looted multiple times, so we're not going to worry about that. I think the next ones are actually down here. The big ones. Alright, I have decided to do the Northeast first. There is an Academy here, and there's still two more, as you can see, on the compass. And there, there are those. One. Two. Is that it? 
stupid birds. Now let's see what we can get in this academy. Oh, well, the, didn't expect to find a schematic in a school bus, but I'm gonna take it. What are you doing here? Oh. Nothing good. You. You. That's it. Good. Snakes in the glass. Next. Just gonna go for the bookshelves. What a man. Nothing here. Nothing here. Out of my way. Nothing here. Is this the academy where we didn't find anything? Why is this one locked? Did I even go in here? That is weird. Nothing here. Lovely. So far? That's outside. That's okay. You can do that. It's fine with me. That is locked. I haven't been in here. That is weird. They don't re-lock. They just respawn their content. But then again, it goes pretty fast. Yeah, I'm taking all that shit. No problem. You're done there anytime soon. Don't care. I'm gonna go upstairs. Success! Absolute marveling success! Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Uh, that way. I'm just gonna go. Mm -mm. Nope, not gonna happen. Bye. Don't care. Okay, big old mansion is next. Uh, oh, too short. a lot of crap here. That is to sell. Don't need that. Don't need that. I know it's a waste, but uh, what can you do? You, I am probably going to keep. Uh, you two. And you sell for a decent amount. And money is what we want. Beer is not what we want. Could also have a look at that passing gas again. So. Le Mansion. Um... Should probably go in from the back. Script out 2020. Right here should be good. If it would ever let me. Still empty, which means those in there will not have respawned. Stop breaking down my shit, I still need all of that. Burn. Empty. Dang it. 
Yeah, we did this one at a later date, so that is obviously not respawning. I mean, there was a chance, but it's not a good chance. As you can see, can I get my stuff back? Mostly. Oops. <laughs> Which means that will probably also not have respawned because we did that on the same day. So, let's move on. Where's the next one? It's up here. What are you? You're a church. There is a chance. It's not a big chance. But then again, it is close by, so why not, right? Hi, Mo. Missed. I hate them. Wrong weapon. He says why he keeps shooting. Have you finally arrived? Wow. Impenetrable. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That was weird. Hmm. Mm, can't reach from here, can't see if that has respawned or not. Okay, well, we need to go down. It has! Lovely! Where's everybody? Not here. Oh, up there. You're doing it wrong! Man, I'm wasting ammo. <laughs> Should probably switch. Mm hmm. Mm. AK schematic. Uh, thank you very much for my stuff. Yep, machete schematic. Mm hmm. Scope. More scope. I can see clearly now I have the scope schematic. Yeah, don't. Right. I just did these and that is it. Not much here. That one I did. Yup. Imagine all of these were actually full with books. Oof. Then, well, 95% of that would probably be paper. <laughs> right? Okay, well that's done. I'm not gonna go into that small office thing upstairs and search for those maybe two books we could get from those. No, no, not gonna happen. Right here. So there's a church. Here's an academy. Let's go. Eh. Ooh, see your tools. Uh, I might take those apart for the batteries and all the parts. I keep saying that, and then I don't do it. Nothing. Empty. Ugh, okay. Get out of my way. So if that one is empty, then all the others are empty too. Yes. Alright, so this one isn't worth it. Which means, the church probably also isn't, but we're still gonna have a quick look. What could possibly go wrong? Turn! Please. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I did find a trader, I believe, on my way here. Where am I? Oh, wrong way. Um, yep, yeah, that's the way I flew. Right here. That looks like a trader. Even from the air, it looks a little bit like a trader. Um, not sure. Might be something to check out. Not today, though. She noticed. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. Done. 
Where did you go? Off with the leg. Uh, anything? Ha ha! That is a good, very very good crossbow schematic. I saw that. Hmm, armor mod schematic. Mm -hmm, yeah, check that. Machete, again. Haven't found any in 50 days and now I'm finding two of them. Yep, that's just my luck. Where's the exit? Up there. No, yep, it's up there. Hmm, okay. You just look similar. Uh, right here. That was good. What do we have? Anything, anything new? You, definitely. Iron crossbow? Yeah, sure. Mm, nope, there are more blade mods. Uh, there is the, I think it's the diamond tip one? Isn't that, oh, we know how to make that. That's perfect. Doubles durability on any hand tool. That works on an auger, that works uh, on a chainsaw. I don't know if that works on the baseball bat, but uh, you know, any hand tool? Is a machete a tool or a knife? It's technically a weapon, right? But it works on those, so it might as well work on these and uh, maybe on the wrench. We should have those instead of the structural brace mod that we've been using for some of them right there. Because this gives you 300 max durability, or I think it's like 20% or something. Um, yeah, the, the diamond blade tip thing gives you a double. I don't know if it's always double, or if it's close to being double. We'll see. We have to check that out. Oh, there you are. It's marked on the compass script. I wonder you learn. Never. Aha! Oh yeah, it was this one. The good one. Stop! Thank you. That's all I wanted. You can keep the rest. Not interested. Oh, oh that is already. <laughs> I should probably switch on the lights. Nope, they're on already. Screw it. Um, that is done, which means now we're gonna go down here to the actual good bookstore. Alright, it's crazy time. I have the camera a little bit so you can actually see because it was really, really dark. Um, let's check. This one is untouched, which means the bookstore should also be untouched. Come at me! All of you. Now. <laughs> the challenge is not hitting the bookshelves. Wow. That was close. I can hear them. That's definitely outside. Outside is okay. Uh, let's just rush through here, take everything we want. And not worry about the outside too much, hopefully. No. I mean it. <laughs> Hi. Nobody needed that via cooler anyway, so who cares. Uh... Those are done. That one is done. I don't even have time to look what I'm getting here. Check that on the outside. And that leaves uh, the office space in the back. Too late. Yeah. That one. That one. Lovely. That should have been it. Oh, let me let me out. Uh, let's check on the visitors here real quick. XP is XP, even though it's only 474. Right. 
Uh, that is new. Zooming uses 50% less stamina. That's nice. Uh, bow. Machine gunner. Fully automatic fires. More accurate with each shot fired. Yep, two of those. Look at this. Uh, hunting rifle schematic. And the rest we already know and have. Lovely. I've done it. Everybody's awake. I think last time I forgot this one. Well, at least I got the window on the first try. <laughs> Eh. Could just go through here and skip all the stupid part. You don't belong there. Let's do this. Mm, nothing here. Ah, there you were. I was looking for you, couldn't find you. Is that a rocket launcher schematic? Nothing new. Some paper, some stuff, some stone. <laughs> but nothing new. Okay, well, let's go to the next big book store. And that is a full. I hope we have enough room for all the stuff we're going to get in here. Uh, some of that might stack, so we might just run back out and uh, stack it into the inventory of the gyro and then go back in. We'll see. For now, don't step on that. Headshot is a headshot. Eh, well, let them come to us. Don't really care that much. You're still empty? Really? What the heck? Aww, I was looking forward to this one. How are you not empty then? Did I forget these the first time? That would be fortuitous. You like that book? Looks like it. She loves it. It's a favorite pastime story. Hmm. That is weird. That is really weird. See, didn't, definitely did not forget these ones up here. But some are empty, some are not. Did I forget anything in there? No. I mean, sometimes you leave a piece of paper in there or something, and then they can't respawn, but even then, after the 30-day reset, you can come in here, take out that piece of paper, and it will immediately respawn. And you can just go back in and take out whatever. Or did we do this one overnight, and it's just 30 days ago, so these ones respawn tomorrow? That could be a thing. It would be a weird thing, but it could be a thing. Hey. Don't. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, taking what I can. Eh. So I guess we just head back out. Who cares? Nothing we can do if it doesn't respawn. Uh, stack. Nothing here to stack. Wow. Okay. Nothing new either. That's a bit of a pity. Oh, no, don't. Mm. Mm. 
eat this. Oh, we'll take that. Sure. Empty, empty. Okay, let's head back out. Next. Aha. You don't talk to me like that. Money. Ooh, nice. That did not respawn for some reason. Okay, sure. Um, that one we don't have yet. That one I don't need. Same goes for all that crap. Getting really full here. We might have to go and sell stuff. Trader is nearby, shouldn't be a big deal. Or I might just put down a drop chest in front of the trader so we can collect everything and then have a look at it before we sell it. That might also be a good thing. <coughs> that works. Out. We're running low on inventory space. As usual. Lovely. Where are we? Where do we want to go? Um, Academy. Sure. Oh! Mm. Hurt you the first time. Nice. Time waste of ammo. Did I check the ammo? Yes. <clears throat> I heard you. Saw you. Killed you. Oh, come on. See, the ammo was empty. That is so nice. Exactly. What the hell are you even doing? That's not how you're supposed to jump. Urgh. Right. The one we checked that actually had stuff in it was empty. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm gonna stick to it. So we're not gonna check the other ones. It's a bit weird. We check all of these on the same day, or well, one day apart, if any. So they should all have respawned their stuff. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Yes, untouched. Again, I probably skipped these when I went here the first time. Because I usually forget those. Dead? Hmm. Looks like it. Okay, same trick as last time to not wake all those in the drop ceiling. We're just gonna go through here. Ah, oh, you're coming from up there. Okay, sure, get it. Mm -hmm. Ha! Nice. Untouched is good. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. Um, let's grab that. Reload rifles 10% faster. Read that. Another one complete. Uh, there's another one right here. Do 10% more damage against deer. That's that complete. And now we're full. This is a bit of an issue. Well, you can go. Aha! We didn't even 
know that yet. Look at us. And this I do have outside. Um, here we go. Yeah, that I do have outside in Yijao. Shouldn't possibly have jumped there. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the only one I actually had in the gyro, it seems. Well. So the one thing I could have done and didn't do is check all the other traders on our route to see if they have anything lovely to uh, acquire in terms of books, schematics and such. That could have been a thing, yeah. Um, okay, I forgot about that. That was actually a thing. <laughs> I just wanted to sell stuff, not to buy stuff. I did make two Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. Here's the recipe again. There they are. I do have my Magnum on me, so we're going to go and check real quick. If I want to sell you, I don't know, this. It's 216, right here. Okay, so we're going to get the Magnum out, and you should see a difference. Yeah, 224 already. One thing. So now, we're going to well, eat, drink, whatever, one done. of this, and it says 20%, oh, it's three minutes only. There is a perk that makes all these portion effects last longer. I just can't remember which one that is. Which really, I think it's here somewhere. Uh, not that. Not that. Is it? Bus from consumables last 20% longer. That's the one. So you can get it up to 50%, but then, you know, three minutes, that would be what? Four and a half minutes? Um, doing a trade around on one portion is probably not going to be a thing. Then again, it only costs like 50 tokens. And <laughs> one book sold you have that money back. So as long as you have enough stuff to sell, or enough things you want to buy, that is definitely a good deal. Okay. So, drink it. There's our buff. Let's see. 256. Well, for books it's probably not the best thing to do, but if we were to go in here and say, Solar Cell. Oh, it's tier 3. Okay, that one doesn't count. Uh, how about... You did have a tier 6, right? Oh, you just restocked. It's day 52 and you restocked. You stupid. Dang it. <laughs> we can't even compare now. Oh, that's so annoying. That is really annoying. Oh, well. Do you have anything I want? No. Cooling mesh I don't care about. I only want these, these box. All of them. We're not missing that many more. That's the thing. Grandpa's moonshine recipe might be a thing. Let's sell stuff first and then worry about it. How about selling that for... One. <laughs> oh, 30 seconds left on the buff. Run! Sell all the things! No time to talk, Jen. You need to sell stuff. Before you become expensive for no reason. There you go, 15 seconds. That's not too bad. That's 42,000. We could almost afford one solar cell now. If you had a good one. <laughs> Dang it, I was so hoping that with that money we could just go and buy one solar cell. The problem is, tier 3 gives you half the wattage of a tier 6, and you only have 6 slots now that to put solar cells in. And even if all those 6 slots are filled with tier 6 solar cells, that's only like half the wattage one battery bank can take. I already have two more relays up there, and as you can guess from the wires, they're going up to the solar banks that I have put up there. Let's have a quick look. Right there, attached to the side. Like I said, each one of these can hold six solar cells. Uh, one is going to be for all our Horde Knight stuff, so those are going to be attached and all the stuff down there is going to be attached to that. Maybe the light, but the light's probably going to go away. And the rest is for our daily needs, so that turret will be attached, the turret we're going to have over here. Maybe we're going to have another light in here somewhere that's going to be attached. I don't know. The lanterns that we are using for free are doing quite well. <sighs> That's it for today. See you next time. And next time, 
we're probably gonna do the wiring for this stuff and we need money so we're gonna go and probably do some cheesy raiding of the big shotgun messiahs and stuff because then we can sell the armor and we can sell the weapons and we can get a lot of money with more moonshine potion or whatever that was grandpa's awesome sauce thing that and hopefully get some solar cells for that yup have a good one see you next time bye bye